Oh, it's Professor Gleb Sapersky from OSU. And Professor, you've done research on the way that emotions shape the public in general, and, and in tonight's case, the politics more specifically. Let's talk a little bit about what you've discovered, that viewers may have been influenced tonight differently by two factors when they watch the debate. So there are two main factors, and we can recall back to the first presidential b debate between Nixon and Kennedy, mm -hmm. when viewers who were watching the debate on television thought that Kennedy won, whereas viewers, whereas listeners on radio thought that it was a tie, or maybe Nixon won. So the essence of that is that viewers look at subs look don't look at the style of the presentation less than at the content of what's said. And that's really important, and we don't realize that when we watch the debate. Yeah, you think what you're hearing is what is influencing you, but in fact it may be what you're seeing that may be the biggest influence? Very much so. How various presidential candidates present themselves, what gestures they use, like the gestures I'm using right now, All right. you know, their facial gestures. Those are much more important than we intuitively think they are, and we are very strongly influenced by these things. All right, let's have a look at a couple of clips tonight. We'll start with one with Donald Trump. This is a moment you thought was one of the better mm -hmm. ones for Trump. NAFTA is the worst trade deal maybe ever signed anywhere, but certainly ever signed in this country. And now you want to approve Trans-Pacific Partnership. You were totally in favor of it. Then you heard what I was saying, how bad it is, and you said, I can't win that debate. But you know that if you did win, you would approve that, and that will be almost as bad as NAFTA. Nothing will ever well, top NAFTA. That that is just... False, is what she said there. Yes. Why a good moment for him and not her? That's a great moment for Trump. So he really conveyed himself as being presidential. He showed anger. He showed passion. He showed enthusiasm. He showed strength. So he showed that, that he was worthy to be candidate, at least in the appearance, mm -hmm. not necessarily in the content of what he's saying. But to viewers on television, he really appeared like he was ready to take the White House. And her response in that case? Her response just didn't convey that she really believed that it, what he was saying was false. Right. One of the fundamental things that viewers tend to distrust is the difference between gestures and voice. So when we say something, we tend to look for whether someone is showing the gestures that convey whether that's true or not. And she just didn't when she said that's inaccurate. All right, let's have a look at one of Hillary Clinton's stronger moments now. There are a lot of great business people that have never taken bankruptcy once. You call yourself the king of debt. You talk about leverage. You even at one time suggested that you would try to negotiate down the Wrong. national debt of the Wrong. United States. Well, sometimes there's not a direct transfer of skills from business to government, but sometimes what happened in business would be really bad for government. That's what Mr. All right, Gleb, your opinion on that one. I think Hillary did a really good job there, and she had that little smile when she said that you might even negotiate down the, the trade deal, and you could see how Trump reacted in a very defensive way. He said, wrong, that's wrong. So that was a moment when he was rattled, when he was shaken. In general, if throughout the debate, Hillary's best moments was when she was attacking Trump on his business dealings, and you could see him being defensive sometimes on the business dealings because that's his claim to fame, how well he does in his business, and he said that will perfectly transfer to the presidency. The six bankruptcies, that's an obvious thing that doesn't transfer well to the, bank, sure. to the presidency. Sure, Ten seconds, who won? I think this one was something that Trump appeared more presidential, more authoritative. So viewers on television are likely, despite the content, despite the substance, feel that Trump likely won. All right, we'll read about it all tomorrow. Yes. Gleb Sapersky from OSU, thanks so much for joining us. Thank Th you so much for having me here. Very, very interesting. Uh, yo. All right.